Properties worth thousands of cities were destroyed in a disaster as Karens broke into the homes of the affected. The affected persons speaking with the media are pleading with authorities for aid. To them, receiving food for now is not their concern, but what they need immediately is shelter since they are left at the mercy of the weather. They are asking the leaders to act swiftly on the matter at hand, which involves lots of women and children. <laughs> The assemblyman for Anyamam, Philip Tetesai, pleaded with the government to continue with the stalled sea defense project. He noted that it will be difficult for about 7,000 people to relocate as majority of them do not have the funds to do so. The major uh, occupation of my people is fixing. And for some few years now, uh, the people have been battling with the sea, tidal waves. Uh, which is gradually eroding the land, destroying houses. In fact, for the past three days, that is from Friday to today, this Sunday, uh, there's a high tidal wave which has displaced about 260 households, uh, and then over 1,500 people are currently rendered homeless. Uh, as I speak, uh, the situation is very, very bad. Uh, I have to manage with my community leaders to go and secure the classroom block, some churches, temples for our people, for them to move in. And these people, there are a lot of them that are aged people, 60 years and above, and then children. And then being homeless within this three, this course of tidal wave is not an easy task. NATMO coordinator Eric Doku gave his... Tell me to puff He can no go no go Lee was a son now No go no go Lee was a son now Proud to bring in these items here. Would you say you are okay with the items we are seeing here, per the number of people have, that have been affected? Well, anyway, I will still have to thank Nanmo for the literature they have given, mm. the delay. Mm. It's still better late than never. I'm not satisfied, but we all know that it's not easy. And I can also say for sure that this problem we are facing is not only in my area. So in other words, Nanmo has to take care of the whole entire coastline of Ghana. When you go to Keta South, Keto South, it is still suffering people in Nigo Pan Prime elsewhere. So we have this for Akrabanya for now. And I know this is not exactly what the people are expecting or looking for. But then for the meantime, we have to console them why we work out a permanent solution, which is simply the sea defense and also the landing beach, which the Korean people need for which it will serve the locality. So I will say that we accepted this on behalf of the people of Akrabanya and hand it over to the assemblyman and the local Nando people to distribute according to their list. We know one person may not get everything. At least, if you get this part, somebody will also get the other part. But seriously, Nambo should liaise with Works and Housing Ministry so that we identify the most prone areas, the most vulnerable areas of these sea defense areas, so that we quickly work on. And then you and I will have a peace of mind, a sort of peace of mind, so that we don't need to come here in a few months. The last time we came here was November last year. How many months? You don't know the next month or how many months again we have to come here again. So I agreed with Nanbo and also Works and Housing Ministry. And finally, President Anando 
should step in. It's been quite a long time. I want him to talk to this issue so that the people will also know that, yes, our president is concerned. But so far, it has occurred severally, and he has never commented on it. Mm -hmm. Commenting on that, uh, how from now, how are you going to push for this permanent solution for the eastern coast of the country? This is already in plan. It's, it's in place. You know, I don't want to go back to the long history, but, uh, you know, President uh, Mahama's time, we ended that of Adan East. It was to continue in 2070 to Adan West, which, for whatever reason, five good years now, nothing is happening. So, we cannot explain what is it. And we all know that the money involved is so huge that the government cannot just raise that money. This money has to be borrowed from the World Bank or some international bodies. So, as soon as possible, I wish the government will look at whatever avenues they will use to borrow the money. And let's say this, when the people are at peace, the government is also at peace. And I and you will also be, in that, be at peace. So, to be frank, we, we are not demanding what is not expected from the government. It is the work of the government, which he should do, and do it at the right time. Otherwise, if the destructions have been done before doing this, it is also waste of resources to some extent. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Stop.